Hi! I'm going to show you how you can take one of these nice Mo Motorola Zoom um, docking stations and turn it into something you can use for a Verizon Ellipsis 7 or a Samsung device. Um, these uh, docking stations are on, on clearance right now at Verizon so I got a couple of them and uh, uh, it has a couple of uh, things on it that won't let me uh, use it with my Ellipsis 7. First of all, it has an HDMI and a micro USB plug on it, whereas the Ellipsis 7 just has the micro USB. So I've got to figure out how to eliminate this uh, HDMI uh, plug. The other thing is this micro USB port is backwards, so I have to figure out how to turn that around in order to get this to work with my Ellipsis 7. Um, the hardest part about this was finding the screws. The screws, the four screws to get this thing apart are actually underneath the four um, rubber feet. So I'm going to take the rubber feet off. Try to keep them intact as much as I can. Okay, it's one rubber foot, and the, another rubber foot. This one's a little tougher. You know, another way you could do it too, see there's a very tiny hole under the rubber, these big rubber feet. You could actually just poke a small screwdriver through the hole to get to the screw. Now I'm going to take the feet off. And the small rubber feet. Now the small rubber feet kind of tricked me at first. I took them off and I thought, well shoot, there's no screw under here. But then when I got the big rubber feet, that screw off, I realized I just wasn't going to get this thing apart. Whoops, towards the rubber foot. And uh, so I poked around a little more and I found that under the small rubber feet, there's a plastic panel that's glued on that has to come off. So I'm going to take a very small very small flathead screwdriver and try to get under that plastic panel. You can't even hardly tell it's a panel but it certainly is. You got to try to find a some sort of a gap in the panel around the edge. To get it off. Whoops. Or if all else fails, stick your screwdriver through the screw hole. <laughs> and it'll come off. It's kind of a hard plastic panel. So it's a little hard to just stick your screwdriver through there. Okay, so one is off. And then we'll get the other one off here. Okay, here it comes. There we go. Okay. Okay, so you can see I've got two pretty good size holes there and then two little holes there. The little holes are kind of a trick. You kind of have to do it by feel. Stick your screwdriver, let's see, is this the right one? Yeah, you've got to, the screwdriver I have is bigger than the hole, so I've got to kind of force my way into the little screw hole. 
Then you gotta kind of feel around for the screw. Okay, I see it there. And I'm, I'm gonna push real hard to back the screw out. Hmm, I may not have the right spot. It's not straight in either. There we go. I think I got it. There we go. And you can kind of see as you screw it, the, the plastic panels kind of separate. There we go. That one's out. Do the other one. Okay. Just got to kind of feel around until you get in that screw slot. I think I got it. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm using a just a standard flathead screwdriver on these little screws. I don't know what's in there. I can't really see in there. So, Okay, I've got those separated. Now I'm going to take a Phillips screwdriver and get these two big screw holes. Get them apart. May have lost a screw, not sure. Okay. So I've got those screws out. Move my ellipsis 7 out of the way so I don't scratch it up or anything while I do this. Okay. So this comes off. You see there's a nice weight in there that holds it down. It's a pretty quality dock. Okay. Now there's a, a couple of tricks to getting this off. There's one screw there, and then there's these little these little uh, tabs that you have to pry back so it'll release uh, this panel off the back. Get this one screw in the middle out. Okay. And then I'm just going to pry that back. There's a tab here. I'm going to pry it back. Kind of lift it up with my finger. This is a trick, but it's not too bad. And pry this panel. The screwdriver and kind of pull up at the same time. There we go. There's one more down here that just wants to hang on. There we go. Got it out. There's one screw. Okay. So you can see here, we have uh, the HDMI Mylar cable and then uh, a cable for the um, uh, micro USB. Uh, we, there's a couple, a screw there and a screw there that hold these cables on. I'm going to have to take those out in order to uh, remove the, the HDMI and to turn the micro USB around. There's just one screw I need to remove. It's a Phillips. So I'll grab my Phillips screwdriver. Get that little screw out. Okay. Set it aside. And I'll pop this circuit board out. Uh, the circuit board has the other end of the micro USB. Okay, and then I'm going to take these little screws out on either side of the plate that holds these plugs in place. Okay, there's one, and there's the other one. Okay, so now I've got this little plate off. You can see the HDMI cable. These, this HDMI and this USB, they are just hooked together by a little piece of rubber. And I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm just going to snip that rubber piece like that. And we don't need the Mylar cable anymore. And then, let's see, I've got to 
I've got to flip this over. So I'm just going to twist it and put it back in here. Now it takes a little little coaxing to get it into the the uh, slot, the template slot backwards, but it'll it'll go. Of course, you don't want to damage it. it the HDMI is really delicate, but this uh, micro USB is a little tougher. But you do want to be careful so it doesn't get damaged. Ah, a little bit of trouble getting it in here. There we go. Okay, it's in there. So now I can put this plate back on. Okay, Let's see, get my Phillips. Put these little bitty screws back on. Yeah, you know, it, it might be nice uh, with these little tiny screws to magnetize your um, screwdriver before you start this project because then it's a little easier to handle these small screws, especially with my big <laughs> my big hands here. We'll get it. Ah. This one. Okay, we got that panel back on, and we'll just slide this back where it goes. This also has a a port for audio, which is kind of nice. If you want to plug some speakers in or something like that. Let's get that screwdriver screw in there. Okay, hard part's over. So, put this panel back on. And the panel's kind of nice because it snaps into place and then you just place your screw. And, uh, What's really nice about this dock is it's adjustable for the size of your device. It's got a uh, this adjustable little back, so you, it's not uh, putting, so you adjust it just right. You've just got this little thing here. You tighten it so that the back is holding it at exactly a right angle uh, for your device. And you can move the plug too. 
right where you want it. And uh, let's see. Anyway, I'll put the, the bottom back on and uh, I'll be in business. And my Ellipsis 7 will just sit right on that plug. And I'm going to be in good shape. So, that is a conversion of a Zoom, a Motorola Zoom docking station for an Ellipsis 7.